Welcome back to Gaming with the Haggits. We're going to do scenario mode. Now, I've already done this twice, but the videos are very long, so I don't want to post them and waste your guys' time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to run through it, and we're just going to roll with it. Now, it is in easy mode, so I'm not going to worry about... <coughs> Any resistors, I'm just going to take them offline. We're not even going to have them in. Also, on the last playthrough, I forgot to start the condenser pump. So, yeah, the condenser started building up pressure, and that caused us to uh, basically lose steam flow to the turbine. So it went offline, and then it took about five or six minutes Attention. more. We have arrived at our destination. And we then trying to balance it out, it got all we messed up. So I'm just gonna 100% flow it and everything, and we're gonna go from there. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. F is your light. Our first thing, uh, where's the door? First thing we need to do is get power going, so we need our diesel generator to come online. So we're going to do that. We're going to get the diesel. Oh, I thought I could strafe right around the corner. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we got to fuel the generator. Which takes about two fuel cans. We're also going to grab all the oil, all six, because we have to do a pump. We're going to get this AO battery, this bad boy, and this bad boy. And you'll see why in a second. Alright, so we're going to open up the inventory, put the fuel in. Empty. Throw it out in here. Nice shot. And we're gonna do it again. Actually, before I waste time doing that, I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna shut the breaker for this. I'm gonna get the internal spoil. I like to drop it right there. Now we can turn the rest of these on. Eventually the uh, power will kick on. I don't even have that, so it doesn't matter. There is the lights. Let's see if our elevator's up. It is. That's good. Go to the first floor. Now what we're gonna do? Turn the modules on. Reset our pump. Reset it because we gotta fill it up. Turn our turbine on. We got a nominal mode. Nominal mode. Okay, this is where oh this isn't where the fault comes in. We're gonna start loading our condenser. I'm going to click the feed water circuit. Not going to do the outer vessel yet. We do need to fill that up, but can't do it. Okay, and then we'll continue on. Um, yep, we're going to not do that yet. So i got to pull rods to get this full. Alright, so we're just going to pull rods one tiny bit. Warning. Danger alarm. Now we get a danger alarm. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to go replace this. And that's that rod control. I'm going to put on my hazmat suit and get hurt for going down there for whatever reason. 
Let's get Muddy Boy going because he needs to do a maintenance analysis of the plant. So we'll start him running on that. It's that one if you can't see it. I guarantee you that's the preventative maintenance analysis. So we'll go to floor zero. I really don't like this honeycomb look. It's kind of weird. Blocks your vision. Okay, so there's a couple things he's going to find. He's going to find a stuck valve here, a stuck valve here. There's like three pipes that are damaged. And it's a giant, giant. Oh, I got hurt a little bit. So I don't know. Maybe it's not radiation. Maybe. Okay, there's that broken fuse. So here's the good one. Put it back in. Also, down the line, well, we might as well do this one here. Um, also, down the line, wires will break as soon as you turn on the generator or get the you know, turbine spinning. So, you gotta fix that too. You don't have to, but. think that might affect your, your power generation. It takes two bottles of oil, pick them back up so you can reorder, especially if this was like an actual playthrough. If you didn't pick them back up, um, they count against your inventory. It'll say that they're still in there. Okay, now we're going to come through here. We're going to fill up our steam generator pump and our condenser pump. We should be able to do all this before the condenser fills up too much. stairs and pump oil casing over here. Straight front it, because it's faster. Get the last bottle out. Now it's full. Oops. So next time we go up Fuel up the uh, diesel. We'll make sure that we throw those out. Okay, let's go check on everything. Make sure that we're not overfilling anything. And then we can also start. Outer core. Oops. Okay. Drop this hazmat suit. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna fast speed this. Good to turn this off. Okay, the actual vessel's coming up nicely. We're gonna put this into 100, and then we're gonna load the fuel. I'm gonna get these pressurizer heaters. No, I can't. There's no oop, F for flashlight. Okay, so he found a bunch of stuff. So what we're gonna do. Is we'll go top this off and then we'll start all the maintenance and just 
get it all done. And then hopefully by then, all our stuff will be mostly filled up. So I'm just going to wait for this team generator to come up because that will, that will be hydroed by the time I get back. It's like eight hours of maintenance, I think. So if you don't bundle it together, you're going to be waiting a longer time. So you might as well just bundle it all together and get it done. Okay, that should be good for that. One of the stuck valves is to actually circulate coolant, and the other is a vent valve. So when you start heating up, you'd actually start um, producing water that's hot enough to make steam, and you're gonna. steam or the water that's really hot will go overboard because it's you know, an open hole in the atmosphere which is pretty, pretty bad for a reactor. Kind of hard to maintain pressure of, uh, you know. Operator, maintenance report is complete. Now you can check it from your oh, I thought he already finished that. Okay, we're gonna do all actually run the report and look at it, it has all the, um, all the different things on there, the different broken pipes, um, the two stuck valves, so it tells you what's broken, and now we did this, we're going to be pretty much out of fuel, so we need to back up before it turns off. And it's powered, so... <laughs> like how it's uh, basically ringing the tow bell. Still a little bit left. Okay, let's go check on our core and our outer core, and we'll see if those are actually close to being full. I think I already inserted the fuel, which I did. Okay, well the outer core coolant is full. Core vessel is only at 6400. How is that even possible? This thing has been running the entire time. Now that the maintenance is done, we can actually close that valve and open this valve. Yes, I know I did not meet the deadline. No one could meet the deadline. It's literally impossible to do any of this in a faster period of time. Okay, we'll normalize this just in case we do need a vent, which we should never vent the core, especially to the atmosphere. I honestly don't know how this pump hasn't filled it up yet. It's been going for like, what, eight hours? <laughs> so, let's, yep, yeah, okay, we'll do that. So we're just gonna fast forward time. It's, much as possible. Keep an eye on our fuel. Our batteries should be charging and they're not. They're still not charging.
Well, better hope our diesel doesn't go down again. How is this full? I definitely stopped it before. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's see how much that one is. It's on the red. It's fine. I just won't. Start it as soon. Okay, let's see. What else can we do while we're waiting for this freaking core punk? Oh man, this is like the worst part. Okay, um, I wonder if we start this, if it will have any effect on the reactor core coolant has started to circulate. The flow right in. Maybe it's going a little faster. I just wish there was a way to use a better pump. You know what? I could probably upgrade it. So let's just go to the freight pump for the core. This one. I'm gonna try this power increase. Still only says 100 liters per minute, but that doesn't make sense. It should go up if you upgrade power, so we'll see. If it adds more. Looks like it's going up a little bit faster. Could be mistaken. Okay, the pressurizer heater, or pressurizer's filling up. So let's get the heaters on and press up the reactor while we're waiting for that to fully come on. Still keeping an eye on our power. We're still, you know, we still got know, about half a tank left. Level's good, steady. 60, that's where it wants to be. This has to go all the way up to like. 120,000 I think, so we're not even halfway. And this is coming up slowly too. Start kicking up higher eventually, but you know, it takes a little bit. No, I forgot. I don't need it. I don't need the fuel, I don't need the oil. Last time I ordered fuel, oil, and another uh, repair pliers just in case, but I didn't actually use any of it. Okay, so this is the report for the last time I ran it. Oh, I guess he did another one. So stuck or damaged valves used to say two and then there was like pipes that were broken. You might have seen it when I did the maintenance task selection, but maybe not because I did go kind of quick. Let's check our fuel again. Okay, we're overpressurized. It's fine, it will shoot back down immediately. Okay, uh, halfway and not even halfway. I guess more than halfway, huh? Actually, I just don't know why this takes forever. I feel like if we started... I mean, we are in the green, so if we start, maybe it'll just... Maybe it'll work. I would like to get off this diesel, so let me go fill this up one more time, and then I'm going to start pulling rocks. That way we can get going and cut this video down to hopefully only 30 minutes. In order
order to do that, we got a lot of dudes still. So I'm going to fuel. Okay, well, I only know of two other fuel cans, so better hope I can get this reactor up. Sunset has been good. Energy demand will go down. It'll be easier to bring my parallel my reactor. Okay. Nominal mode. Yep. We got flow. I'm just gonna boost it to 100. This we're gonna go fast. This we're gonna turn on medium. Don't forget to turn that on. Like I did. Otherwise, you're going to not be able to generate power and it's going to take you longer. Okay, so I guess my pressure's gone down. So we'll just kick that back on and then I'll pull the rods. Where is it? 92. We still got a, enough margin. Did insert the fuel. Okay. Put a sworn I clicked insert. watches in normal speed because it doesn't go any faster. And I'm just going to waste fuel in my generator. And like, you don't have to do this in the normal startup. You don't have to take the fuel and then put it on the top of the reactor. Like, you can just click insert and it puts it in there. And I've only ever seen this animation in this scenario. So it literally puts it right on top. I can't see it because of the water, but the fuel is like sitting right there. And then when you click insert, it just like takes it in the reactor somehow. So insert and work. Now we're going to pull rods. And as you can see, we have reactivity. It's going up. Let's do some time warp. Our heaters are. Need to come off. We're doing critical mass. Cores react. Big pulse of energy for whatever reason. The reactor has reached critical mass. Yes, and yes. its status has changed to reactive. Why is that now cooled down again? We max this out yet? We have it, okay. Wonder how long that's been overloading for. <laughs> Operator. Okay. So there there's that little I was waiting for a situation like this. The connections need maintenance and have not received it. You have to identify the damaged cable and add it to the maintenance task list, or you can order me to analyze the status of the entire plant. Oh, come on, pump, kick on quicker. Okay, this is going to slow down to 98. And as we push the rods in, the reactivity goes down. So now it's not going to go up so fast. Turn off these pressurizer heaters again. Pump's still coming up to speed, and we're still going down. Nope, coming back up. Okay, and we're starting to generate some power, so, yeah. Okay, we 
we can go to 90, let's go to 97.5, let that come up more, this is doing good, oh it's going down already, I hear an alarm, where? Okay, maybe I'm just hearing things. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Once this is 51 hertz, we can actually go ahead and parallel. So let's fast forward. I have to bump these heaters on quick. Turn it on. Good to go there. Still coming up. 51 hertz. Okay, let's parallel. So if it's. You want to just. Get it green, green, 5100, 2200 volts. Close the breaker. We're in sync. Why is it jumping down now? going on with my steam generator. I don't know why it's coming down. I'm turning this resistor bank off. I'm not doing that. This can go off. We're not auto voltage regulating. We're just going to pump out power as much as possible. Still need to get the 360. So let's just drop this a little bit. A little faster. Get our heaters on. Apparently the diesel's still on for whatever reason. We are in automatic. Maybe it's because we're not even generating any power. I don't know. We're definitely generating power. And that's definitely coming up still. Okay. We're just going to let this ride, and I'm going to go fix this wire. And then hopefully uh, we finish the achievements. So we get a plier, though. This thing's kind of wild. I don't know how it would actually work in theory, but you see all these black sections of the um, cable? That's the cable that's damaged. And you can actually find the first one in the line that's messed up by that sparking and stuff. And for these top ones, you have to hold the button down and then jump. And then it'll fix it. can't lift your arms or anything. Kind of weird. Oh, he keeps looking down. I want to watch it. And then we got one more, which was out in that pee Way is a uh, yeah, navy term it means passive. We don't call it a passive, word. we call it a P way. Put it in your inventory. <laughs> see where we're at. Hopefully we're rocking this power generation. Oh, we're really high on our temp. So let's go 98.4. Okay, that's a little low, so it'll come down a, a yeah, should come down a little bit. 
Oh yeah. Okay. We should get this achievement quick. Let's fast forward and see what happens. Oh snap. Is my pressurizer no nope, my pressurizer is good. I don't know why the generator is going down. Doesn't make sense. I mean, the pressure is going down slightly. That's all steady. So what? Why is it fluctuating? I mean, I guess the primary is cooling down. So no, it's not. Not really. That looks like a straight line to me. But the reactivity is slightly less than one, so it could come down. But I don't know why this is going down. I wonder if I raise the speed. If it is. Yeah, I know it's not the same. But it doesn't need to be because it's already parallel. I don't want to raise the lower the voltage. I could raise the RPM, but it's smooth. This is what it was doing to me last time. It kept lowering for no reason. I guess I could go 100% on that. Maybe that would help. It's not like I can do anything else, you know. I can't. I can't raise the speed of the turbine. I mean, we are at a hundred percent. Maybe it's just finally balanced out. Oh yeah, continue going down. I really appreciate that. And why haven't I earned this achievement yet? I've been putting out power for like over two hours. It's just dropping for no reason. My amperage is going down for no reason. Now it's going back up. Like the amperage shouldn't change. <laughs> Wild. Okay, any day now. I don't know why I didn't get this yet. There we go. Successful startup. In literally half the time as my last video. Okay, so... Key things you gotta look out for. Getting the rods pulled immediately so you can identify that uh, rod drive power issue. Also getting your AO to run a maintenance check. If you don't do that, you're going to delay the start. As you can see, I got down to one can of fuel, so just keep those things in mind. And then, yeah, just 100% flow for your reactor, 100% flow for everything. Set it, forget it, bump that temp up as fast as possible, and you should be good to go. So. With that, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the views so far. You guys are you guys are awesome. Uh, it's not like I have a million views on a video or something, but you know, I didn't think I was gonna get a hundred views on one of my videos. And then the others are like fifties at the time of this, so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, don't forget to like the video. I'm gonna try to do chapters in this so you can see like if you want to fast forward to something you can just fast forward to it and then um, hopefully that will help you you can just jump around the video and see the parts that you actually need to see and uh, yeah anyways once again thanks guys and uh, I hope you have a good day thanks for watching hack it up